top 6 tips to use with mocha pot. Stealing the coffee before serving in the cups. The first part of the coffee coming out from the chimney is a stronger part of the brew, and the last part is the most watery. So, to fully enjoy the coffee, especially if you share it with friends, stir the coffee with a teaspoon or pour all the liquid in another vessel before serving in the cup. Now everyone can taste the same flavors, hopefully good ones. Use an AeroPress filter for a better filtration. Mocha pot metal filters usually have pores where small particles of ground coffee can pass through and they easily end in your cup. These particles can give an unpleasant sensation in your mouth and also mask the flavor characteristics of your coffee. I know this is not a sustainable option, but if you want to brew a coffee because its peculiar flavor profile, with the AeroPress filter you can enjoy its full potential. Distribute the coffee in the basket. When you place the coffee in the basket, don't leave it to chance. Distribution is important for a uniform coffee extraction. You can do it by tapping the side of the basket with your finger or using specific tools. It's very important to take care of this aspect to avoid channeling. A negative phenomenon happening in coffee brewing when some water passes quickly through one side of the coffee bed because it finds less resistance from the grounds. This can give you a coffee that is flat with less flavors, bitter, watery and also with spikes of sourness. Basically a terrible coffee. So to avoid this, distribute the coffee in the basket. Take care of your mocha pot. Cleaning the mocha is very important and I will never stop to say that. A good care of your pot will help you to achieve a good cup of coffee and avoid unpleasant taste. Your mocha will also last longer, so it's a win-win situation. Remove the gasket and the filter to avoid the moisture in between the mocha parts, because that can lead to mold proliferation. Keep it clean, keep it dry, keep it in a cool, dry place, and don't listen to people that tell you to do not clean the mocha for a better taste. They don't like coffee. Use a scale to weigh the doses. For me, consistency is key. Better than a good cup of coffee, there is only an everyday good cup of coffee. How many times happen that you brew a good cup of coffee and then you're not able to repeat it anymore? It happened to me too. But controlling variables can help you to achieve consistency. And one of the easiest ones to control is to be consistent on the coffee to water ratio every time you brew. This ratio is very important to determine strength and extraction in coffee. So get a scale. Weigh the water you put in the lower chamber and the coffee you put in the basket. Adjust the dose based on your taste preference and then when you find the perfect one, stick with that to get a consistent good cup of coffee. It's also important to say that when you brew a different coffee, this ratio might change. It needs a bit of practice, but I'm sure you will get it. And my number one tip is Always use filtered water. When you brew a mocha pot, water is around 94-95% of the beverage. So there is no reason to spend money for a good coffee if then you brew it with a low quality water. This is an important factor we need to consider for all the brewing methods, even beer. Good filtered water will highlight better the flavor profile of the coffee, but also will protect the mocha from lime scale and corrosion from high content of minerals. For example, calcium and magnesium are essential for coffee extraction, but they can become enemies if their concentration in the water is too high. If you are lucky enough to live in a place where the water from the tap has a good quality, good for you. But if you live in a place where the water from the tap has a low quality, I suggest you to change your source of water. You can get a filtration system like a carafe or use mineral water. If you have a local water dispenser, even better, so you can reduce plastic wastage. So this is my top tip for a better coffee, better mocha and better health. Thank you very much for watching. Now I want to hear from you which ones are uh, your top tips for mocha pots, if you find any similarities with mine or which one for you is the most important one. So if you want to share with me your thoughts and your suggestions, I invite you to drop a comment in the section below. I can't wait to see you in my next videos and in the meantime I wish you a wonderful day and delicious coffee. Ciao!